These questions are taken from the 2020 booklet, the Department of Education. In this first example, we have a litre of milk currently costs 9 rand 11 cents. The expected inflation rate for 2015 will be 6,5%. What will the price of the milk be in 2015? Now all we have to do is find the percentage of 911 using the 6,5 and then we'll just add it on to the 911 and that will give us our new amount. Our answer would look like this, 911. Now notice we put the 911 in the beginning because we want to remind ourselves that we need to add this onto what we worked out. So we got 911 plus 6,5% of 911. Now that's the part we need to work out and add it onto the 911. This next step will make more sense. If you notice, the part where we need to find the percentage is placed within the bracket, and then we will add this onto the 9 Rand 11 cents. Now it's important to show every step, as you can see in this next step here. The 0 0.6 is shown as part of our working, and this can be given as marks in your exams in terms of simplification. So make sure you show your steps, and it can also give you an advantage in terms of method marking. And we finally arrive at 9 Rand 71 cents. Example 2, the price of Nike shoes in 2014 is 650 Rands and 95 cents. What is the price of Nike shoes in 2013 if the inflation rate for 2013 was 6,8%? We need to determine what has been given to us in this question. And we see that the new price of the techies is given to us and the inflation rate is given to us. And what we need to do is we need to determine what is the old price. So we need to know which approach to use. Furthermore, we need to remember that the new price already has the increase of 6.8% in it. So all we need to do is to take out this amount and we would arrive at our old price, which is required by the question. A further understanding of this concept is that in 2013, the old shoes is the 100% amount. Now, we added the inflation in 2013 to arrive at the 2014 figure, which is the price of the new shoes. Now, all we are doing is working back in order for us to get the 100% in which we know is the price of the old shoes in 2013. So, we would write 650.95, which is the price given to us. And we will multiply it by the inflation, as you can see, 6.8 given. And the difference is that we will take the 6.8, we'll add under to it, and we'll put it below the inflation, and we will multiply that through, as you can see in the answer provided for you. So when they give us the new price, and they give us the inflation that it was raised by, and they want us to work back to the old price, this is the way in which we answer our question. I've presented the long decimal answer in this next step because I need to show the examiner that I know that I would have to round off to two decimal places because we are dealing with money. And remember that there is no need for them to ask us this because we know we are dealing with money. So what the 41 Rand 45 cents means is that this is the amount that the techies was raised by in order for us to get this new amount of 650 Rand and 95 cents. So all we have to do now is if we subtract this 44,145 cents, we get our old price that the techies was in 2013. And this finally brings us to the old price of the techies, 609 rand and 50 cents. And you notice that I've rounded off to two decimal places as is expected when dealing with money. A TV set increases in price from 17,355 rand and 75 cents to 19,943 rand and 99 cents. Calculate the inflation rate for this period and you can see there is a given formula in which they are expecting you to work with. Now most of you would be familiar working with the bottom formula. If you look at the top formula, the word difference is the same as new price minus old price. And the words at the top there where it says price of the previous year is the same as old price. So in order for us to get the difference, we take the new price minus the old price. So our new price is 19,943. And we subtract it from the 17,000 as indicated in the question. And we get a balance of 2588.24. Now we substitute that amount that we've worked out into the formula. And our previous amount is the 17,355, 
0.75 remember that's the old price and we put that into our formula and we do our calculations and finally this brings us to 14.91% and inflation rate must be written down in percentages.